The Skate Nomad and I, off-grid skater, are finally leaving the deserts of the Wild West and making our ascent across the Rocky Mountains on our trip across the United States. On the way, we come across some snow, which of course we had to figure out a way to skate. I always carry a snow skate in my quiver and I'm always trying to figure out a way to connect that with my all-terrain skateboards. After we barely survive the mountains, we make our way down and stumble across this unlikely skate park with some really awesome people and have some really good times. As we're traveling deeper across the United States and feeling the majesty of the Great Rocky Mountains, with our eyes wide open, always hunting and searching for new skate spots, such as this one that Mike called out for me at a roadside stop. Yeah. Up until this point, the skate nomad had been traveling all of Southeast Asia, and it had been a while since he'd seen snow. So we had to pull over and see what we could find. I think you were going to jump. Okay, good enough. Thank you, Mike. What the fuck? What is it? It's like the X formula. Yeah. The power still is working. All right, brother, should we get back on the road? Yeah, sure. Uh, so that's a wrap. On to the next spot. Well, we made it to Canada.
There's the bagel spot. He's a bit higher than the real one, though. And it's like as tight and higher. Oddly enough, we stumbled upon a skate park outside of Denver that had an exact replica of a skate spot from Nomad's hometown called the Big O. According to Mike, it was much different than the one from his hometown. And although we really wanted to skate it, we somehow just got caught up with all the awesome obstacles in this skate park and actually didn't even skate it. Well, I did for a second, but... Whoa! Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's really nice. It looks like the same. It's not the same at all. Dude, your water bottle. Get it for like three weeks. Would you get that in the Philippines? I think I bought it in the US, but the first day. Because we had been off grid for a bit of time, Coming back to this skate park reminded us of how famous Skate Nomad actually was. People were once again just recognizing him. So you just recognize this guy off of his YouTube channel? I just recognized him off his YouTube channel, yep. Cool, what's your name? Uh, Blake Lauer. Beep, beep, beep. Like, really like thing. I, really feel like I have no idea what you're doing, but I'm down. Ooh. I recommend you come from the bottom. Man. Oh god, seems dangerous. It worked! Uh, did it? Yeah. Did good. it work? <laughs> you know what you would need is a skateboard down here to keep it going. And that was a wrap of a beautiful session. Thanks for everybody who was a part of it. Somewhere in the middle of America, Mike is trying to find food at a Walmart. A good reminder of how hard it is to find food in a new country, especially when the prices seem high for what you're getting. And I was also trying to remind him that the quality might not be quite up to par. I wouldn't mess with the Walmart produce out in the middle of nowhere. They have $2 burritos over there. Right here. Yeah, <laughs> they're the most sad burritos I've ever seen. 
It feels like a tortilla, doesn't it? Like with nothing in it. What do you think? Hi. I've been trying to figure out if there's mayo in the sandwich, but I'm not so sure. In it or on it? Probably not on it. I guarantee you it's not on it. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and there's many more episodes to come of our trip around the United States. Please do the like and subscribe thing if you'd like. And also, I have a memberships only program. And also, if you join my membership, you get exclusive access to videos before they come out and also to videos that may not be publicized to the mainstream.